What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be working on the E91 M3. But before we actually get into today's video, today's video is sponsored by Natty Performance. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, that's your boy, that's your boy's website, not going to lie, not going to lie. We don't actually have any other sponsors for today's video, so I decided to sponsor this video myself. And for those of you guys who haven't checked out my website, just go check it out. It's a cool little website, I've been working on it, you know, just making it look pretty and nice little products everywhere. But not only do we actually have our own products, you know, just some accessories and jet tags and you know and whatnot you know your normal accessories which is still pretty awesome and by the way there's 20% off by using code August 16th literally today only so for those of you guys who actually watch this video today get 20% off the entire store in terms of accessories retrofits and decals but like I said not only are we selling accessories and decals but we are officially selling retrofits kits as well I do have two different retrofit kits up for sale right now for those of you guys who like to do navigation conversion paddle shift conversions and I'm working on a few other ones that will be on the website soon hopefully but yes the 20 percent off discount will work on those as well I have people always hitting me up saying nor will these ever go on sale and honestly guys i don't really plan to put these harnesses on sale all the time mainly because it takes a lot of time to make it and uh, i buy everything from bmw and i make it all in house it takes a lot of time for those of you guys who really 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 wanted those harnesses today is the day but not only do we sell retrofit harness decals and accessories but we also sell burger tuning products we are officially a partner of burger tuning a dealer for burger tuning and if you guys enjoy Enjoyed any of the stuff that I've installed previously on this channel on my cars from Burger Tuning. Those products are now officially on my website. And every single purchase will, of course, help this channel. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the E91 M3 build. Like, let's just literally get into it. And guys, this is the next day. So we actually ended up getting a lot out of this car. As you guys can see, this is pretty much stripped. I've actually never got a car stripped to this point ever before, uh, mainly because it's actually a lot of work. So you have a bunch of wires that go from the center console actually out through the firewall. These all connect behind the fuse box. Um, so we pretty much got all that connected. All the connectors that are actually over here, we should be able to pull them inside the cabin to get all this properly painted. We were able to pull this inside the car, this section as well. I believe that's the HVAC and I believe that is for the steering column so we got all that pulled in there um this area that we ended up taping off uh we got that pulled in as well and i believe this section as well be able to get pulled in as well so literally everything here on this whole engine bay is gonna be completely stripped down now in terms of all these wires i want to be able to pull them through the firewall as well and i want to remove this brake booster so i think the next thing i want to go ahead and tackle is removing this brake booster and just removing the bolts that hold it over here from the brake pedal and everything so once you actually get that brake booster out literally the next step is getting all the other wires inside the cabin and then pulling it as far back as we possibly could so yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and just remove those brake lines down there remove this tank and that will pretty much just leave us with this guy and we just have to try to remove that from the inside of the car
just like that guys we finally got the brake booster everything out of here the bracket all the wires put inside the car the only thing left is pretty much the, this uh this trunk release cable which honestly is not a big deal we'll get to that later it's actually connected right over here um so it's pretty easy to get to but for now i'm just super happy that we finally got all the wires through the firewall which means we can properly paint all this stuff and the engine bay is gray so it is very important to match all that stuff even in here it's all gray so it looks like from the factory they would paint all this stuff it doesn't look like they would actually paint this section or neither honestly down there as well i might actually just get that side section painted as well but this section doesn't look like it is painted i'm gonna go ahead and paint over it anyways just because like it's there it's exposed why not but yeah super happy we get probably all this stuff cleaned up in another video sand it all down get it all primer before we actually take it to the body shop but i'm just super happy with the results so far so at this point we are pretty much done with the driver's side so let's go ahead and try to knock out the passenger side and just try to get everything inside the cabin and then we're gonna pretty much try to pull all the wires back detach everything from there pull it all the way back detach everything from the rear again this is the whole body harness this is the entire harness of the entire car i did look up a couple ways to see if we can avoid replacing the entire body harness um but just because of the features the m3 came with and the features this car came with and a bunch of other electrical stuff that the m3 came with and this car didn't come with we're just going to end up having a lot of electrical issues and that's the last thing i want after fully completing an e91 m3 build so we're just going to go ahead and replace the entire harness for a peace of mind now this is a lot of work this is not something that i would recommend anyone doing or paying anyone to do because honestly they would charge up the butt even though this is my build this is honestly such a pain i'm not gonna lie but with the dream in mind it's definitely worth it so without further ado let's go ahead and try to get all the wires on the passenger side inside the cabin Alright guys, so we finally pulled the entire harness inside the cab. <laughs> There's so much wires here. That is overwhelming. But anyways, we pulled the harness through the firewall on both sides, which means this engine bay is pretty much ready for paint. The only thing over there left is literally just a hood latch. It's not a big deal. And this actually goes underneath the car, so that's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and just pull that downwards straight through there. But yeah, that is crazy. We are officially knocked out one big section of the car, um, which is honestly the primary section that needs to get painted. I mean, the rest of the car, it's whatever. We can always get that painted later but the engine bay is our number one priority um before we actually get into that though i did notice we have a module right here and uh, that module goes right into there i'm assuming this is for the all-wheel drive system which we're not going to be using obviously because we're having m3 rear wheel drive manual so uh in this case i'm actually going to go ahead and take out this module i think it's actually worth some good money because i know all all-wheel drive parts fail um so it's a good thing that this is here Hopefully it's not damaged. I do see a little bit of water corrosion here, but as long as the pins are good, this thing should actually bring in some good money towards the M3 build. And guys, we officially got back in the garage right now. So uh, unfortunately, the, the the SD card ran out of memory and I, kept, I saw the camera kept on dying, but the battery was good. I was like, maybe it's overheating, but it turns out the memory storage was full. So I actually pulled back a lot of the wiring. Um, that wasn't on camera. I'll show you guys once we actually get back to the car. As of right now, we pulled a lot of things out of the car and the back of the truck is absolutely full. So yeah, guys, looking back here, we have seats, carpets, door cards, actually door cards for my E90 and my E91, uh, center console, just a bunch of hoses, pies, uh, transmission stuff so many things from that e91 that's just taking up so much room i loaded up to the back of the truck and uh, at least as of right now i'm going to try to strap this down and head down to a pickup pole or something and see if they'll take all of this junk i know some pickup poles are willing to take all this stuff as recycle so i hope they do if not this is going to kind of suck because we have to spend like a couple hundred bucks to dump this or probably like a hundred dollars to take this to the dump and I properly dump it but yeah as of right now let's just go ahead and just get it strapped down and now that it's strapped down, guys, wish me luck that I can dump this for free. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to I pull, you pull, and I told him I just have some seats and some door cards to throw, but I have much more than that. But if I can at least throw those things, it'll be cheaper to 
throw the rest of it at the dump. Um, but honestly, I think if they let me in, I'll be able to dump everything. So that'd be pretty dope. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, guys. And just like that, guys, we got the truck unloaded. Shout out to them. Honestly, they're looking at it they're like, is that stuff from us? And I'm like, uh, some of it. And then they're like, oh dear, I almost lost you guys. And then I was like, I just want to dump it. And they're like, all right, you know what? So I, I did wait like 45 minutes. It was kind of crazy. But thankfully, finally got to unload all that. It was so much little stuff. Like I, I, I forgot all the little things that we had to throw in there. Bunch of the big things are gone. All the little things are gone. <laughs> so thank the Lord, our bed is officially empty for any more junk that needs to go in there. But for the most part, now for the re-rendered car for the E91, we pretty much need everything. And anything else from the E90, E90 M3 that we're taking off, we can sell it because those parts are actually worth something. So Anywho, at this point, I do have a couple packages that I drop off at the post office that you guys ordered, and then I'm actually gonna go get some Chipotle because your yeah, man's starving. So we're officially back home. Um, we dropped off the packages, we dropped off the garbage, and we got my Chipotle bowl. I'm just so hungry, guys. I don't know why. Today's just super hot, and uh, I need to get some kind of umbrella out there for sure, for sure, because it is super, super, super hard to work after like 1 p.m. in the backyard just because the heat just directly hits you. Working in the garage is one thing. Working literally in direct sunlight, it's pretty tough. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and munch down this Chipotle. I know I said like a few videos ago, I'm gonna try to just eat salads, but I mean, Chipotle is, it's, it's pretty healthy, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like as long as it's not like a cheeseburger pizza or like wings or something, I think I'm on the right track if y'all know what I mean. Anyways, let me go ahead and munch down on this and hopefully in a little bit, I'll be able to head back out there with a little more energy and knock out some more work on that E91. And guys, after pretty much taking my lunch break and uh, chilling till uh, pretty much honestly, the sun kind of like set a little bit. Um, now we have a little bit more time to actually start diving into this interior so if you guys look into this this entire front section right over here is completely stripped there's not a single thing i even removed uh what's it called the uh hood latch release cable so there's literally nothing left here um it's completely stripped down which is absolutely perfect perfect for paint um so now at this point i'm going to start working on this side try to pull back all the wiring my goal is to try to get all the wiring that's over here back to these rear seats and once they're to these rear seats then we can go ahead and start taking apart the headliner completely now we might actually run into an issue mainly because we do have some wires coming up for the uh the, the current airbags right over here um yes there might might be an issue because to actually release these cables we need to have this headliner off so i might actually start working on the headliner actually It's finally time to crack the trunk open guys and get the rest of the wiring out.
And about an hour and a half later, we finally got all the plastics off of the rear trunk. We got the plastics that were on over here, over there as well on both sides. So at this point, guys, we we're pretty close to removing this whole section back here. And I have a bolt down there, a bolt up here. And then obviously I'm trying to play with all of this. I've never actually taken apart an E91 before. Um, if I would have known that, I would have actually removed uh, the headliner and the driver and passenger seat. Those are honestly the top three issues that I'm having with this car because of electrical things. But I mean, just like the two front seats, hopefully I'm able to figure out the whole uh, sunroof thing. If you guys have any ideas on how to move that sunroof kind of back without the car having any power, let me know because as you guys can see, <laughs> we have completely stripped this thing from the front end. We're gonna definitely need to remove that windshield uh, so we can get a proper paint job. But yeah, guys, so far, so good. The progress, I'm really, really, really happy with. And I realized that we actually really do have to remove this headliner because all the wiring for the trunk goes above the headliner. So yeah, worst comes to worst, you might have to rip this headliner and find a black one, which I think is gonna be absolutely impossible. Even just finding a normal is gonna be absolutely impossible. So I really don't wanna do that. But worst comes to worst, we might have to do that. So that is definitely gonna have to conclude this video. Look at this, kind of like haunted scenes going on right now. <laughs> That is definitely gonna have to conclude this video. I don't want to be too 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 loud piss off the neighbors But yeah, we've done so 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 much work on this car. Yes, you see I'm literally sweating like crazy and it's like late night That's why I couldn't really work um, early like in midday It was just so 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 hot and I will be getting an umbrella kind of soon to help with that But it's still gonna be very very hard during the day I might need to honestly get a shot probably down the road But uh, but yes yeah, still something I'm gonna have to end up getting I thought getting a house I can kind of avoid the whole shop thing But end of the day I'm realizing especially during winter time and stuff like that you're definitely going to need a shop because you need to work indoors and uh, my garage space is very 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 small so that being said that is going to have to conclude the video hopefully in the next video guys i'm going to try to get this whole trunk off i'm going to try to get this headliner off i'm going to get i'm going to try to get that sunroof off in this rear bumper so pretty much from the top end it's going to be completely stripped and i'm going to be super excited for that i've already decided on a coloring i'm going to be painting this e91 m3 i'll have a lot of my friends that actually recommended this color as well so uh guess it down below which color i'm going to end up going with it is an individual color and it isn't like a special specialty E90 chassis color. I was gonna go with the Atlantis blue, but I just don't think it fits the E chassis as much as it does with the F chassis. So this is a special individual E chassis color. That thing's gonna look so, so, so good. But without further ado guys, comment down below what you guys think it is. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.